Hello everyone. So today I am going to explain about a product which is a Proxmax backup server. So this product is great because uh, it's open source and it also provides you the backup uh, solution which is enterprise level solution. And if you can see on the screen, it is open source enterprise backup solution. And if I show you how the UI look like, then you can see here, this is how the UI will look like. Okay, so uh, further, if we talk about its features and uh, so then let's go to the feature. And then so, as I said, open source platform for backup and restore. So since it is open source, so you can also review its code and see, and if you want to contribute in the co in the pro you know, project, uh, you can do that as well. Performance is best because it is stuck. It is basically written in the Rust and it is modern and fast and also it's memory efficient as well. So, and if you talk about incremental and deduplication, that is also a feature that it provides and then compression is best. Architecture, if you talk about then it is remote synchronization uh, supported and data integrity and security, it provides the encryption user role and group permission as well check some algorithm ransomware protection if you look at the quick restore then it is general recovery as well central management it provides using a web-based command line and also the rest api okay. so and it is also integrated with the proxmax ve which is a uh, you know virtual agent platform as well and then tape backup which is a great thing. Uh, so benefits are a lot here in the backup, uh, tape backup, LTU barcode generator as well. So these are the features of this product that I've explained to you about. Now let's talk about the re requirements before we uh, jump into the get started. So requirements are different based on the use. So if we are using a, you know, for production, it is different. If you're going to use it for the evaluation, it is different. So let's say if I click on it, and see what the requirements are for production. Okay, so let it come. Then, yeah, so it's basically uh, different based on, so like four gig of memory and then AMD, uh, like CPU, 64 bit CPU, that should be the requirement for the server. Okay, and then again, based on the uh, you know, environment that you're going to build, it's if it is a test or it is a production. Okay, then let's jump on to the pricing section. So pricing, as you can see, if it is community version, then it is 520 a year. If it is basic, 1,040 a year. If it is standard, 2,080 a year. And if it is premium, 4,160 a year. And if you can, you can see there are a lot of features based on the pricing tier that you go on. And then let's talk about how you get started. So it is a image iso based image you can download and then you can boot uh, with uh, the iso okay and then you can configure via gui and note this is a uh, you know bare metal installer so if you are going to install it on the system uh, then it is going to utilize the entire system so let's say if you're going to install this on a physical server this is going to use the entire system and all the disk that you configure into it so be aware when you are configuring it so that's about it for this product i will continue to create more videos about it and then explain each and every uh, feature of this so thank you very much for watching uh, see you in the next video